Hi everyone, it's me Mitchell James and welcome to MJT Reviews. And I'm here with Lamb, your hey. lady. So Lamb is gonna to react to for the first time Ra. Huh? <laughs> From France. The song's called Roi. Roi? R O I. R O I. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's by Bilal Hassani. <clears throat> so we're just gonna to react to it. And you can tell me what your thoughts as usual. Okay, okay so we'll do one, two, three. Um, oh. What? Antusé. Oh no, that's Korean. How do you say one, two, three? Anto toi. Anto toi. Go. Okay. Go. Okay. Just let me know what you think. Oh, this is in uh, Israel? Yeah, it'll be in Israel. Is that French? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, transformation. How old is he? I don't know. I'm pretty young. Sure, yeah, yeah. He was like 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. He's like a teenager. Did he just say? Uh, did, he, did he just sing something in English? It seems to be a mix of French and English. Oh, okay. It's just like Korean songs now, like they have to put some, you know, English things so they can name the song in English. <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking of the song? Very nice one, like good melody. Mm -hmm. Like it's too bad I couldn't understand what that what um, the song means. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> Can you work it out from the music video at all? Like a message or something? Like live with yourself? Yeah. Maybe? Maybe you're talking about the passion of the of young people, like just do whatever you want and um, you cannot take me down. And... Well, that was the end anyway, good time. Okay, that's good then. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> it just like went weird when he just mm. he did that at the end. So mm. he did his crown. So what did you think of that? Uh, yeah, um, I think I, I love the melody. Mm -hmm. Very easy to, to listen to. Mm -hmm. um, to you better could understand the whole um, the, the content of the song. Mm -hmm. We kind of understand it some way. But um, he performs very well. Um, good vocal. Mm -hmm. And um, he looks confident on the on the stage. Yeah, so that's what I like. And and with the fact that he's so young mm -hmm. and so confident, so I think yeah, good talent. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, that's it from Lamb. I am here with Elise Turner, and she's giving me her take <laughs> on France. Raw. Oh. Okay. Let's get to talking. So. Yeah. Um, alrighty, so what did you think of Ra? I'm very curious. Okay, so I thought it would be really cool to look at the Eurovision entries this year from 
very analytical sort of music perspective. And so I each week I'm going to be looking at specific aspects of a song. So I think it's really cool that we got a male um, singer to start off. That's awesome. Wonderful to have that male representation. But what's also really cool is that this video has two languages, English and French. Um, obviously, it's a French entry, so it makes sense to have some French in it. But you've got some English to appeal to those people who, uh, you know, don't want to use Google Translate, which unfortunately that happens. People are not interested in knowing about the lyrics sometimes, but that's cool. So we've got a nice balance between English and French so that you've got a message which can be taken from both sides. Now, moving into the more musical aspects, we have a really um, a medium range for this song. Like it's a, about an octave and a half. We're going from an E3 to an A4. So for those musical nerds, that means that you're looking for the E on the piano. Um, just under middle C, and then the A, just above it. Um, the key we're in is F natural, uh, F sharp natural minor, which is an Aeolian uh, tone. Uh, pretty much, it's just a standard minor key, basically. Um, you got some four four rhythm happening, which is pretty cool. That's pretty standard for your pop songs. And then you're looking at 139 beats per minute, so that's pretty fast without being too over the top. You get much faster than that, you start looking at dance music. That's, that's not what we got here. We've got a nice ballad going with this, like, BPM. It's pretty fun. I think it's pretty cool. We got uh, six chords in that. And that's, you know, that's a nice balance. You've got not too many here, not too many there, but enough to keep it interesting and to keep it going. A standard pop song can range between, like, four or eight, you know, something like that. Four is pretty much the average, though. So we've got six in this one, and then we've got some really cool instruments happening. We've got vocals, obviously. All the Eurovision songs are going to have vocals, so that's fun. But then we've got piano. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am a sucker for piano. I absolutely love it. cannot get enough of it because I am a pianist myself. So that's my sweet spot. You want to get to my heart, you give me a piano song, I'm down. I'm in. And yes, I'm, I'm going to interject but can I interject and share with the viewers what you did on the piano from first hearing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I sent Elise earlier in the week the song Wa by Bilal Hassani. I am me, and I know I will always be. Je suis free, oui, j'invente ma vie. Et me demandez pas qui je suis. And I get. Not very long after, I'd say 10 minutes later, I get this audio recording from her. Because, you know, she's a genius. I was so impressed by that. Oh, I was... I was excited. I was procrastinating practicing the piano by looking at this song, and then I guess I technically practiced anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun, though. Like, it's nice to be able to hear a song and be like, I know what's happening, and then be able to just, like, play it. That's, I think that's a really cool thing. Also really good for pop songs. If you want it to have longevity, um, to, people need to be able to cover it. So that's a plus. Um but yeah, in terms of instruments, besides the piano, you've got some drums and you've got some backing vocals and some synthy sounding strings. Like it sounds like strings, but they're not. Like it doesn't sound, I don't know, it, it just was borderline. It didn't sound like it was like a recording of live instruments. I Feel free to disagree with that one. I might be wrong on that one, not going to lie. But then we, after that, we sort of go into your structure of the song overall. So we start off with an intro for two bars, which pretty cool, considering each of these songs is under three minutes. I think having an intro is less common from the ones I've looked at so far because it takes up time where you could be singing and sort of selling your message. So that's um, an unusual thing that I've seen in this one. We've got an intro for two bars. Then you've got verse one for 16 bars, uh, a little bridge now that's a really early point to have a bridge to have your first verse and then have like this bridge so thought that was odd but it sounds good and it works because you can then go into the chorus verse two and then another chorus so you've only got the bridge once and it's at the start so it's kind of flipped it into the opposite area but it works it's this really nice tension makes it a bit different but it also makes you listen i guess it kind of forces you to pay attention because you're like wait what's that it didn't come back 
who knows? So that's what I was thinking of the song itself. It's got some really cool things happening. I like the bridge. I like that the it, it has the real kind of noughties pop sound to me, that bridge. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> so what were you <laughs> thinking of the music video? Okay, so full disclosure, I've got no idea who most of these are from a fresh perspective, but the first thing, like, obviously the voice is going to hit you, the music's going to hit you, but the first thing that hit me with the music video is that transition between a natural haired look to a wig haired look. And, oh, my goodness, he could rock both. It was great, but it was really nice to see that vulnerability sort of shown through it. Um, you have a very stripped back music video in the sense of... Uh, he's kind of singing at this camera and around these instruments. And so it's not too detailed, but it's that, that vulnerability, I think really captures the essence of the song, which is that, you know, if we're happy with ourselves, what can the others do to tear us down? This is our happiness is our crown in a sense. And so I thought that was a really great way to subtly capture what the song was trying to say in its lyrics. So that was what I thought of the music video. That's wonderful. That's a great take. Thank you so much, Elise Turner, for your great analysis. I've got Stuart here from ESC Fan TV and his opinion on France for this year. Um, what did you think of Balao Hassani in the national selection for Destination Eurovision? Well, I love Balao. I, I think he's, uh, he's such a fantastic character. He's uh, got such colour about him. Um, you know, the, wherever he goes, a headline will follow. Um, and it takes great strength to to sort of get beyond that and continue this path to Eurovision. I hope he does really well. The song itself, I think, is good. Uh, I think it's a grower. I think by the time we get to Tel Aviv, it will be one of the favourites. And, you know, if I think back to the semi-finals, his first performance was OK. By the time he made the final, his performance had improved significantly. With all the, the parties and all the national finals he's performing in, I would expect Bilal to be a real contender by the time we get to Eurovision. Yeah. What do you think of the contrast between, because I see that the studio version is really different to the live version. What, what do you think of the contrast? Do you think that's OK? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I sort of see his performance and the sort of the message come through more with his live performance than you kind of get maybe in the, the studio version. You have to see Bilal and you have to see his personality on stage. And it really comes through. He's got great personality, great character, and he delivers that in his song. Yeah, totally. Thanks, uh, everyone, for watching and thanks for the team. Um, be sure to subscribe to see all the other future videos and reviews. And thanks very much for watching. Bonsoir Europe and goodbye.